Hey! Greetings and salutations, how you doing? Me? Fantastic, thanks for asking. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to attempt to do some seat cushions. Four of them. Two bases and two seat backs for the couch here. And I got this piece of foam. Let's see how big this is. 39 inches by roughly 83 and a half. Ouch. The seat bottom, which is going to go from roughly there to about 21 and a half. A piece that goes on here, roughly 16 inches, which is going to be perfect. So I'll probably end up cutting about two inches off there and two inches off here. And the way I'm going to do that is with this Proctor Silex. Oh, that's French. I can't read French. Durable electric knife. Link in the description. The great thing about uh, the internet is that you can get if, if you want to know, there's information on just about everything you've ever wanted to know on the internet and instructional videos on how to do certain things. And I've never, uh, I shouldn't say I've never sewn. I haven't sewn since high school home economics. I took home ec because that's where all the girls were. And uh, I haven't used a sewing machine since home ec. And that's been a very, very long time ago, several decades. And uh, my mom sent me her uh, old um, 1970s vintage uh, Kenmore sewing machine. And uh, I worked on doing, you know, the sewing on these panels here. These were blackout curtains that I cut down to fit the space. Anyway, long story long, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to make some seat cushions here. And um, I hope I don't screw it up because this foam wasn't cheap. I got two pieces of this foam and it ran me around 200, a little over $200, I think. I think I bought this stuff on Am or I don't know if I got this on Amazon or eBay. I have to check. I think it was eBay. Anyway, doesn't matter. First things first, I'm going to cut uh, the end uh, and uh, cut it for length so that I'll have two pieces that are the same length and I'll use. Use that edge as a guide. I want to make sure that I have enough. Make it just a little bit. There we go. That's fine. Let me find a place to set you up so that uh, you're not in the way and I'm not knocking you over and I'll start to cut. there it is and uh, this is five inch foam I believe high density I probably could have gotten away with four but I figured that uh, these were going to be used to sleep on as well and let's see how firm it is oh that's nice that's not so bad 
I, th I was a little bit concerned that this would be too short, but hold on, let me put it on super view. That's not too bad. It's pretty comfortable, as a matter of fact. <coughs> but uh, I have. Yeah, that's not. That's not so bad at all. That's certainly going to feel good to sleep on too. It's nice and firm, but not too firm. You know what I mean? So now I got to clean off that side and do the same thing I did over here because I think dimensionally they're just a little bit different. So uh, I won't bore you with cutting the other piece, but uh, I'm going to cut the other piece and I'll bring these pieces of foam inside. I'll clear off um, the table. I'll probably clean the table, clear it off, and get ready for a sewing session tomorrow. I think I'll do that. So, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning. Afternoon. Um, so, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to make box cushions uh, because I am not a seamster. I just play one on YouTube. But uh, I'll post a link in the description to the video that I watched to learn how to make a box cushion. Uh, right now I'm cutting panels. Um, this is the fabric that I'm using. Yeah, I think that's pretty. And uh, I've got, got all my panels cut and um, my wife is on her way home from the airport. And hopefully she can stop by one of either Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or whatever and get some um, base basting, some, some kind of double-sided tape to hold all this stuff together while I sew it. Okay, that's enough.
Well, here's the backs. I don't have the the uh, the backs on them yet because I need a zipper foot. It's a little. For those of you who don't know what a zipper foot is, it's like a half of one of these, so you can run it alongside a zipper. And there ain't none in Vegas, so I got to order one online. And I also wanted some what they call uh, basting tape. Sounds like cooking a turkey. But no, it's double-sided tape to kind of stick everything together and hold it in place while you're sewing. But uh, uh, just a simple box cushion. I was going to, you know, do piping and all that stuff, but I figured I'd save that for a later project. Um, anyway, so I got uh, the seat bottoms. So I, can, I can sew the corners of those yet. I'm going to do that yet tonight, and then I'm going to call it quits, and we'll put the stuff back in the bus where it belongs, and I guess wait for stuff to show up, as usual. Story of my friggin' life. Mm, so I guess I'll stop there. But it's official, I'm a seamster. So if you like this video, smash that like button and share it with your vast social media network. At this time, I'd like to invite you to click the subscribe button, and if you do, please click the little bell icon that's right next to it. That way YouTube will let you know the next time I'll upload a video. If you'd like to support this channel and these projects, there's a few ways you can do that. Check the links in the description, Amazon, PayPal, and Patreon. See if that's something that you can fit into your, uh, into your budget. If you can't, I completely understand. Um, means we're probably related. But if you can, I would surely appreciate that. Thank you in advance. So until next time, you have fun. Stay safe. You stay. Keep your butter dry. Have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.